Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Trina and I wanted to do a video today on talking about these garden plot nets that we bought. Uh, these nets um, come with uh, hoops and clips as well. And so we're gonna do a little video today to talk about why we ordered these garden nets, uh, what we've seen them do for us so far, and how you assemble them and put them up. Here is an example of one of the garden nets that we bought. Uh, I'm going to show you how we put this down. I'm also going to show you the uh, hoops and clips that we use to basically uh, secure this net down to the ground. So these garden plots are roughly uh, 4 by 12. So we're doing square foot gardening. These are, these are basically 48 square foot, again, 12 by 4. And so I bought these nets a little bit bigger on purpose. So that way they can, you know, uh, drape over each side and, and really, you know, fit the entire plot well within them. Um, so here's the net. As you can see, it's pretty big, pretty long net. Um, it definitely expands the length of the garden plot here. As you can see, I already, I already have some of these hoops already up here, but I removed the net just to show you uh, me putting it on. So as you can see, this thing spans the entire square footage pretty well pretty easy to put on just kind of wanted to show that to you um, of course when you're putting this on you know you want to make sure that it's even on both sides and I wanted the sunflower seeds to or sunflowers to stay out so that's why you're not covering those okay so here's the actual uh, hoops and uh, clips that we're going to be using today okay so as you can see this was already in the ground that's why it's been a little bit but these are basically made out of fiberglass okay so we have found these to be really tough and durable yet very uh, flexible as well and as you can see here I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this one these are really easy to use so this set here and we bought like maybe like three sets of these things because we're gonna be covering all of our plots with this same type of netting. And here on the end is your uh, pointy piece of the uh, fiberglass rod, okay? So here's the length of each one. You then have same type of length, but as you can see, these ends are not pointy. These ends do not go in the ground. And the set comes with an even amount of each. So what you do is, is you take your pointy end and you put your little brace in here, just like that, and it just slides in there. Then you take the other side, that slides in there. And so you can make these as long or, or as short as you want, okay? So then as you can see here, I'm gonna do another one. And then another one. Ours are uh, pretty long. I actually think we could probably shorten ours a little bit, okay? And so now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put these in the ground. So I'm roughly going to put it here on, on the very edge of the uh, garden plot here, spanning the entire thing. And that's pretty much it. That's really easy to do. Uh, I have, let's see here, I have one, two, three, four, five of these. So depending upon, you know, how firm you want this net to be, how secure that you want it to be, you could have more or less. But I found five on this sort of plot for me was plenty. This is again a four by 12. So now let me show you how we fasten these nets to the hoops. Show us what those look like. So here's the little clips mm -hmm. and they just go right over the bar or the mm. hoop. And that's what clips the net onto the hoop. Cool. Yeah. And so my method, I told Trina, was I wanna make sure that both ends get secured into the ground first. So what I do here, so I typically do both ends first. So I'm gonna put one right here on the top. Make sure that's kinda of down. And sometimes what I'll do is is I'll even kind of step down on this a little bit on the net 
just to make sure you know and these aren't bad these are these are pretty evened out for now and so I just put one clip right down here and then I like to put one on each side towards the bottom so one down here and then a third one over here so I like to basically use three clips per, per hoop and that might vary for you based upon you know how many hoops you have and the size of your net so now I'm gonna do the same thing down here There's that top one. I'll do one here on the side. And then another one here on the side. So now I got both ends nice and secure. And uh, I'm not gonna bore you. I'm not gonna put clips on every single one of these here. But then just to show you, the more clips that you put on these things, the more firm it becomes it kind of creates a little bit of tension but not too much tension just even by putting one on the top because I have my ends secured I do recommend though putting three clips on each hoop but for now I'm just gonna put the one yeah so what we found is uh, these nets have really helped to protect against uh, bugs getting on the crops especially we noticed on this plot right here with all these uh, greens, you know, uh, collard greens, kale, we noticed that we started to get some some gnats and ants and, and uh, moths and things trying to, you know, kind of plant themselves in the leaves and getting in around the plant. And we noticed that as soon as we started putting these nets down, we had a lot less problem with that. Um, she's also put little sticky I'm not sure what they call it. What are they called? Oh, a little uh, fly sticky trap. She's also put just little fly sticky traps in here, but that's more so just for like little gnats and things like that. Uh, but as far as all the major bugs, the, the sizable bugs that aren't going to slip through these little tiny fine holes, mm -hmm. I feel like these nets are pretty much taking care of those for the most part. Um, the other great thing about this too, about these nets, is we get decent wind out here, okay? Um, sometimes we'll get gusts out here that are like, you know, 30, 40 miles an hour. But even without the gust, the average wind speed out here is probably like 20 miles an hour. Just like even, even like on a calm day out here. This is actually kind of light here today as far as the wind speed goes. But anyway, um, we've noticed that these nets hold up really well. And so they also, I think, kind of protect the crops from blowing around too much, you know, ex especially when some of these are, you know, still at their young stage. So for us, the nets are not just for bug control. They also help with wind. And then the beauty about them too is they, they still let light pass through, right? Obviously, light light's still getting through. Are these nets protecting the crops from getting maybe too much sun? Maybe. Trina thinks so. She thinks the kale has been healthier since putting down the nets. Like it, like it blocks out just enough sun. But um, that I'm not 100% sure on. And then also, um, she has experimented with watering these right through the net. She prefers to actually lift up the net when she's watering, but just as an experiment, she was able to water these uh, right through the net, just on a nice nice little mist or, or shower type setting on the hose. Yeah, no, I actually do water it um, on the net because these nets, you can it, it allows sun to get through and also rain. So if you're worried about, oh, I got the nets on and the rain's not going to get to it. Nope, nope, rain's going to get right on in there. Yeah, yeah. As so you can see, good, see, yeah. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so that's the other good thing too is that these nets allow for rainfall to get through mm -hmm. and they're obviously still getting sun. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course, uh, we don't really do this, but you could water right through the net if you wanted to. Again, if we go through like a drive spell, Trina will actually just lift these up and water around the base of the uh, plants and everything like that. So 
in a nutshell, we have found that these things are useful for those for those basic four reasons. Here's another one that we've already uh, netted, as you can see. Um, we have some cherry tomatoes in there on the front. Uh, just some random things. Again, this is our first year garden. We're kind of experimenting. We got some herbs back here like basil and cilantro. So here's another one that uh, we've already covered up. We're actually going to be putting nets uh, over all five of the uh, plots that we have. So we have five uh, 4x12 plots here. Uh, here's kind of an open space right here. Uh, Trino wanted to set up just, you know, just like a little bit of like a garden table and chairs just to kind of sit out here. Uh, so we have the five plots that we're going to be covering with these nets. In the beginning stages, we weren't sure about covering any of these up, but we just had such good success out of these two. So I think we're going to start covering the rest of them. What we're not going to cover uh, is in the back here. Uh, we have, uh, I planted a couple of uh, gooseberry plants here. Uh, and then there's a grape plant here towards the back, mulched around all of them. We're not going to cover these with a net. Um, and then here uh, we have one, two, three blackberry plants that we've uh, planted. This is the runt right here. Kind of got my eye on him. But these two right here are doing really, really well. Uh, again, not going to put one of these standard garden plot nets over these. When these do start to take off more, especially, you know, when they start to fruit and things like that, um, I probably will buy some actual more so uh, vertical netting for these mainly to keep out birds from what I've read but I you know I need to do some more um, research on that so not covering these but uh, the other five four by twelve uh, vegetable plots we are going to cover with the same type of netting thank you everyone for uh, tuning in today if you have any interest in these nets I went ahead and put a link in the uh, video description in case uh, you have a garden and you might have a need for these nets or you might just want to experiment with the nets like how we did um, again we are we are a big fan of these for multiple reasons so this is your first uh, time to the channel think about subscribing if you enjoyed today's video uh, give give the uh, video a like if you liked it and feel free to leave us any comments and we will talk to you next week